I will start this video with the first thing that I bought and that's the mid tower case from Thermal Take uh, View 31 tempered glass RGB is the limited edition and that means that it's coming with 3 ring 14 uh, centimeters RGB 256 color LED left and right uh, window are tempered glass 4 millimeters has a fully modular concept with uh, modular drive cages and you can put uh, 2.5 inches or 3.5 inches hard drives also comes with a GPU riser super bracket and it uh, was designed for to change the way that you place your GPU inside the case you have a magnetic fan filter on the top of the case where you can uh, put um, uh, three 120 millimeter fans or 140 millimeters still three of them but you also can place uh, two of 200 millimeters in front of the case you can put three of uh, 140 millimeters you're only gonna fit two of them or you can put three of 120 millimeters on the back of uh, the case will fit up to 140 millimeters only one fan the same uh, the same thing on the bottom of the case so I'm gonna go through all the unboxings for each uh, component that I am using for this build if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel for uh, my next videos because I'm planning actually it's a new build but I'm planning to upgrade like really really fast especially the motherboard and a graphic card and uh, memory as well okay for the motherboard it's an Asus Strix ROG B350 F Gaming it's a ATX motherboard you have here on the back some details about the motherboard let's see what we get inside so this is the motherboard I'm just gonna put it aside for now get four SATA cables some uh, cable ties this is a really nice rear I.O. shield it's a black one from with the ROG logo here's some safety information a really nice uh, ROG coaster also we get the um, extension for the RGB extension cable there's some uh, discount for uh, cables, modular cables if you want for your power supply some really nice ROG stickers that I'm definitely going to use there's some labels with ROG as well for your hard drives or other things the M.2 screws a quick start guide and a very massive um, user manual with everything that you have to know about your motherboard and they still 
do this support CDs with the driver, but I would advise you just to go online and download the late, latest drivers for your motherboard. So let's take a closer look to the motherboard itself. I have some really nice Strix brush metal head sinks. Also the chipset AMD B350 with RGB lightning. Get the four slots for DDR4 RAM memory. Two PCIe safe slots from CPU and the other ones are from this chipset. We have six SATA connectors. Here's where you power your motherboard, the 3.1 front panel connector. On the back of the motherboard, we have four USB 3.0. We have the display port and HDMI, uh, type A 3.1 USB, 2.0 have two of them, the internet, and of course the Supreme FX 8 channel audio. Here we have some CPU fan headers. We have an AIO pump and the RGB header, and we get another one here. Here's the M.2 socket for your SSD. Here's the 8 pin connector for uh, your CPU. The front panel. Uh, Connectors on your motherboard for audio and USBs. And that's pretty much it about this motherboard. I'm not gonna go too much in details because there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube about, uh, about this motherboard. And I just want to make uh, unboxings for things that I'm gonna use in my build. Here we have the Ryzen 7 1700 with 8 cores and 16 threads. Uh, not gonna go too much in details about the processor. You can find that online because I just don't want to make this video too long. What I can tell you about it is that it runs at the base clock speed at 3 GHz and will go up to 3.7 GHz max turbo core speed will support temperature up to 95 degrees here you can see you get the sticker the processor itself inside the box is the cooler uh, I'll just skip this one I heard this really good that AMD logo is gonna light up and has all around the fan uh, RGB lightning and you can sync it with Aura Sync and with your motherboard and you're really gonna make a nice show, light show inside your case and by the way it's unlocked so try to push it at his limits as a memory kit I choose the Corsair Vengeance RGB it's a 16 gig kit and runs at a speed of 2666 just fast forward um, the unboxing because you don't get much in the box only the memory kit and that's it what you have to do is to go on Corsair and download the Corsair link and that will um, help you to change the lining effects for each memory stick I'm planning soon to upgrade to 32 gigabytes so I'll have four of these bad boys and I'm just gonna play with the colors and I'll probably do a video about it because I've seen a lot of reviews and they're amazing that's pretty much it these are the this is the memory memory kit from from Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes for the graphic card, I choose the ASUS ROG Strix Radeon RX 560. It's the overclock version with 1336 MHz boost clock. 
with and with a 4 uh, gig uh, GDDR5 memory. As also the ASUS Aura Sync RGB Lightning, the fan is IP5X certified dust resistance and they're very quiet, only go on over 55 degrees. What you get in the box there are these two uh, velcro straps, they are good for cable management and these two are some stickers that you can apply if you want to own the graphic card. Also get the, still get the old CDs with the drivers and the user manual. Otherwise, you not use the drivers from them. Just go on their website and download the la latest drivers. So you're not gonna have any problems. I would expect to be bigger the graphic card, but this quite small so it will just easily fit in any case you're just gonna need your 6 pin connector from your power supply the power supply that I choose is a um, Thermaltake uh, top power RGB 750 watts with a 10 years warranty and it's 80 plus gold certified it has a 14 uh, centimeters RGB fan with 5 lighting modes to choose from and built-in memory so whenever you just put your um, computer to sleep you're just gonna have the same color whenever you're gonna switch it on again um, they claim there are 100% uh, Japanese capacitors inside it's a full modular power supply and that would be great for cable management This is a very good looking power supply. We have here on the back on and off button. There's the smart zero fan button and the um, RGB lighting button in there that you can switch between the colors. As I said, it's 80 plus gold certificate. Some more specification here on the side. Uh, in this bag we have all the cables that we need. There are some flat, really nice cables. Uh, there are flat cables and your case after you install the power supply not supposed to look really messy with all the wires. And one more thing about this power supply. As I said on their website, if you place your power supply facing up with the fan, uh, you'll get better cooling than facing down. And it was no point to put the, the power supply facing down because you couldn't see that amazing RGB lining. So that's pretty much it about this power supply. I just can't wait to see it inside my case. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, also make sure you have your notification on so you're not going to miss the second part of this uh, computer build.